Yes, let's get back into the motion of the day. Uh, we, as we continue on the road to election 2020, we invite viewers to meet the candidate. And every day we have a candidate on, as you know, and we get to know about their vision while seeing another fun side and relatable side. And I trust that you got that memo <laughs> because you have to face the wheel after the interview. This morning, I'm speaking with Kurt Sinet, COP uh, electoral candidate. Let's come back and have a chat. Indeed, indeed. Kurt Sinet, COP 2020 electoral candidate for Laventil West. Good morning. Hi, Pleven. Good morning to you, Lisa. And welcome. Welcome, Good welcome. Morning. Now, uh, some people might remember that you're a former Trinidad and Tobago national boxer. Yes, yes, And a former Olympian. Yes, I so am. So congratulations for bringing glory to Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you very much. It has been a pleasure representing Trinidad and Tobago and having that support from Trinidad and Tobago. So I'm now, at this present time, operating in a different capacity. Yes. I'm here to serve. Right, so preparation for the Olympics. Mm -hmm. How does that compare to preparing for uh, an election? You know, when I made this decision to actually step into the politics for representation mm -hmm. I started to feel as though I'm going to I'm going back into the game of yes. boxing yeah. I feel like it's felt so competitive now yeah which I, I, I actually felt it I don't, that's not a feeling that I should be feeling right yes but, but I felt as though I'm in going back in the competition mm -hmm. but in a, in a different realm what do you want to bring to your community well to be honest with you our my community is lacking of infrastructure mm -hmm. we have infrastructural problems at this present time and one of the areas when we had that last earthquake that shape the we got a very heavy earthquake would have compromised mm -hmm. the the infrastructure that was existing before yeah and with things like roads what was it at this present time is is, is breaking apart mm -hmm. holes in the road and what has happened is that we will find some of the community m members of the community come in and try to fix it themselves mm -hmm. but what not with that proper infrastructure that should have been in place um so the roads we need to actually we need retaining walls we have land move movement taking place and um one of one of that area as well i want would like to deal with is also dealing with um entrepreneurship yes and what way because i know that the entire laventil east laventil west area we had the issue recently, you know, mm -hmm. with the protests and so on, yeah. and the violence, and, and your program of entrepreneurship, is that geared towards a solution for what yes, we Yes, that, that is also geared towards uh, that solution with entrepreneurship, but I think we need to bring business back to our communities, mm -hmm. and so that in that way we will now be empowering, li empowering ourselves, yes. taking charge of our own destiny. Yeah. And, and, and what is one, of, one of the areas I would like to bring into the community is that we need to understand the real value of money mm -hmm. because at the end of the day what's happening is that we'll see we'll take that we'll get we'll go out there we'll get our money and at the end of the day we move and we'll, we'll go out and spend it in in other businesses on on the outside and at the end of the day the, our community is now suffering yeah. the businesses are suffering the whatever small business that we have there at that point in time will be suffering so you want to keep the money in there it's in the important community. for us as a community yeah. to have that money circulate at least for a month in our community because what the incumbent and in, in not your area but sydney laventil um, east which mm -hmm. is just next door was saying yesterday is that there are businesses that have been thriving and uh, that's something they also want to encourage mm -hmm. and these businesses were very active particularly during COVID-19 mm -hmm. to assist in the community okay so how do you respond to that that because you're saying that you want to bring business in mm -hmm. but uh, yesterday Adrian Leons was saying that the businesses you know that was something that he's seeing more businesses young businesses springing up over the past few yeah, years. But, um, because of the COVID-19 we have seen a lot of um, young people actually trying to get into business yeah but some of them don't really understand how to run a business right these are things that we need to bring into the into the community because sometimes what has happened is that due sometimes to our due to our education system yeah. which would have which would have taught us that um if we if we if we fail in 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 certain things mm -hmm. like if we fail in a subject or if we didn't get the passes or whatever we if we sometimes feel don't don't tread and we can go forward but and but sometimes in these communities there are so much talent that is not being explored yes. and one of the areas i continue to say that we need to understand business 
and money, understand the real value of money. Is it specifically for the youth or for anyone? And if it's for everyone, what do you say specifically for the young people? In well, the I area? honestly believe it's for everyone at yes. this point in time because at this point in time, if we had on, if we had understand the value of money and business, a lot of our young people would have been more involved in business. We would have been, uh, we would have most of our young kids as we would see in other ways. Yeah. At a young age, we would see that they have the young kids in their business actually participating, understanding the real value of money. And these are the things that I would like to see come back to Lavantil. All right, so I'm asking every candidate this question because, you know, you're campaigning in the area yeah. and you come to my door and I say, so why should I vote for you? What mm -hmm. would you say to me? Well, I, I, what I would say that personally, I think what we need as a country is to say that we need a revolution of education back in our community and when i say revolution of en when i say re re revolution of education i'm speaking about not speaking about the academics part of it i'm speaking about educating ourselves in business business because mm -hmm. at the end of the day when we take into consideration the people who are calling the shots in Trinidad and Tobago yes. are, are few right a few so and your main area is Business, business, entrepreneurship. entrepreneurship. That's the message. Yes, entrepreneurship. All right, you ready to face the wheel? Yes, I'm ready. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Rockers, it's all yours. <laughs> He's all yours. <laughs> right, so this is our wheel. It's simple, right? You have four options here. Mm -hmm. You don't get to pick, the wheel picks for you. Yeah. All you do is spin the wheel. And we'll okay. take it from there. What direction? Any, Any direction you feel as long as you don't spin it off. <laughs> you will be all right. Let me go. Right. That's a good hat. That's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spend that like a minute. <laughs> As if it goes stop now, that's a million dollar question, right? It's All stopping, right. it's so, stopping. Let's see which one you get. Drum roll, please. Oh! Ah! It's on yeah, the right. Yeah, it's, right. It's, it's on fitness. It's on uh -huh. fitness. Carry, uh -huh. where's Carry? Where's Carry? Carry? You have to come Carry. on to my good friend. Uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> I, I know the irony. The irony <laughs> of the Olympia getting the fitness challenge. You know? I feel this yes. yes. thing rigged. I feel this thing rigged. I feel this thing rigged. All right, yes. yeah. All right, so I Carrie, Carrie, I'm gonna have to talk through this. So you come yeah. on, you come on this side, Carrie. I'm gonna, and I'm let's gonna, get some music so going. What's gonna happen mm -hmm. is that we're gonna, you're just gonna follow Carrie. It's yes. a one minute. No it's a one minute challenge. It's a one minute. Yes, no problem. Right? Yes, it's so a Carrie, one minute. You ready? Yes. All right. So, so Carrie, let's do, get some music. Do I need to step one, out here? Yes. Yes. Right. So you just step right yeah. here. Make sure you're socially distant. Can we get yes. some music, guys? Yeah. One minute. And we're we'll we'll right? All right. Go ahead. Ready? We might not have time for the music. Let's go. All right. Let's go. All right, you come to now for the minute. Make sure you keep your back straight. I am right. driving. I like the boxer pose, carry. Good choice. Good choice. He should be. He should Carrie, be. Carry a feeling boxer. I'm here this way. I'm feeling really boxer. Yeah, I'm here yeah, this yeah. time. You get somebody who could run with you in this exercise thing that you want to do. Yes, man. All right. We have yeah. like 40 yeah. seconds to go again. How much? 40 seconds. 40 to seconds. Go. All right, we're yeah. almost there. I'm watching. Oh wow. Yes. Yeah, man, fellas, we look at. Hey! 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 30 seconds to go, 30 seconds. That was only 10 seconds. 25, wait, you still going? So, when you say I was an Olympian? <laughs> 15 more seconds. All right, all right, okay. Wait, wait, wait. I realize, wait. though, just so I realize, I realize you have him. You have him there. Hi. Good job, though. Good job, good job. 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 Yeah. All right, so, we spend the wheel. We're going to take a quick break and come back with so much more right here in the Now Morning Show. We have a special guest coming up. And, you know, Christmas in July is this week, so... Just stay tuned, you'll find out more. <laughs>